Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of September 2nd through 8th in my classic vertical happy planner. And I wanted to use a new to me sticker book, Ink and Arbor from the Happy Planner. And I thought that the Still Life uh, small sticker sheet set would be cute with it as well. I absolutely love this aesthetic, aesthetic and like the whole black and white and like neutral vibes that it has going on. I like this. It's kind of like a glossy black, but not like, um, it's not foiled, but it's glossy. I think it's really cool. Um, it doesn't have a lot of, um, what do you call it? Layering elements, which I'm not really accustomed to, but we'll make it work. I think I could do something with some, um, what do you call it? These circles. So I'm going to grab Mojo Jojo's black boxes and more and her gray boxes and more. So I have this one. Let me see if I can find the gray. And then we'll see what we can create. Okay. I think I might want a sticker sheet to lay some stickers on because I don't really have an idea of what I want to do yet and I'm not familiar with the sticker book to not come back and forth with flipping through here so I'm going to flip through it once and um, grab some things that kind of stand out to me and let's just go ahead and get started. Sorry I forgot to pull, where is it, one of these and I think I'm going to use this one. And we're going to put it right there. And hold that thought. I might have to pause and come back, but I wanted, I have no idea where it is right now, but the black and gold sticker book from the Happy Planner had a lot of line art in it. And I'm wondering i be able to find that. Okay, so I can't find the sticker book that I'm looking for from the Happy Planner, but I do have line florals from Amber Plants Her Day, and it has these, and they're kind of similar to what I was thinking about in the Happy Planner, so we're going to do that. And I thought that would be a good addition, a good layering element for um, this spread, since I don't have much to work with. But let's get started. I just put a quote right there, so I'm not sure that I want to add another one down here, but I want to do something down here. I'm just not sure what. But let's add a few boxes in and then see how we feel. Oh, this is my well-used one. Okay. So I'm going to start with a black box. And I'm just going to put it down here since I feel like it's a little empty with not knowing where I'm going to put there. And I want to create like a little, um, let me just show you. I'm trying, I'm doing bad at multitasking right now, but I'm going to cut the top off. And I want to create little layers of circle stickers. If you've been following me for a while, when I first got my silhouette, I loved creating circle stickers and making spreads with them. And I thought they were just so pretty in my opinion. Um, but I haven't done that in a while. So normally, oh no, I dropped my book, oh, my back. Normally I would kind of want to do something about that, but I'm not sure how much I feel about doing that. And I can't find my white pen at the moment. Okay, this uh, past weekend we went to the lake house and we went boating. And we hit a really big wave 
and um, when we were coming down from that wave, I heard and felt my lower back crunch. And I have been in a lot of pain since. Um, so I'm dealing with that. I just went to the doctor and they gave me some medicine to try to alleviate the pain. So hopefully it will help go away and heal on its own. But if not, we'll have to figure something out. I might like that. It's nice and bold. I don't know, I really like this one, but I'm leaning towards this one. So let's put this along the bottom here and finally agree on it. Need my washi cutter. That's gone missing since the last video I filmed. We'll make do with what we got. Okay. We have this. I got a lot going on right now. And then florals. Did I want to add these in? Let's see how I feel. I'm going to pull one up and put one on the corner. The corner of this up here. I really hope I like it because I'm rubbing it in pretty hard to see how it looks layered on there. Which isn't bad. I kind of I kind of like that. Okay. So I'm going to pull up another one and I'm going to put it on this corner of the cluster. Okay. And I'm going to put this one behind it. Right, that's not as even as I'd want it to be, but we're going to work with that. Okay, so I feel like that's good so far. I want to put maybe another little cluster up here. And I want to use, hold on, too much stuff going on. Hopefully I've been in frame. Sorry if I haven't. I want to use maybe another quote and a circle well that one already says plan so I don't know that I want to use that but we could do I'm gonna put this one up here Oh, it's too big for the box. This might help. Put this one down. Trying to see if I want it like straight in the middle of the box. I don't normally do that, but we'll see how I feel. Let's grab some more washi. Slide it over just a little bit. 
and then we'll trim it there. And then let's white out behind here. I really wish I knew where my oh, white out pin was. So weird. Well, I plan on cleaning after I'm done with these videos, so hopefully I'll find it then. Okay. I feel like I want to add like another little circle and they had some in these book or this book like one of these plain ones maybe let's do this one possibly I'm gonna cut off the end I just wanted it to be layered with this a little bit so let me see if I can make that work because I like trios when I'm doing circles okay and if I do it like that I want to move this one over to kind of connect better with that circle that I added. So let's move this over just slightly. Okay. So much going on. So little space. Move you out of the way. I want to find a floral. I want something that's just going to poke out right here maybe. I already have florals right here so I feel like we need something that's gonna fit up there okay okay I'm not sure if I want to layer this behind or what but I am going to want to trim it at the top here just since this circle is ending I want this to end too and I guess down this edge right here if I can cut a straight line Not bad. Okay. Put this up before I cut myself. Get off of me. Okay, let me rub these edges in and then see how that looks. And I'm really liking it so far. I think it's pretty and chic. I forgot about gray boxes, but I still have them in case I want to use them. And I forgot about these that I grabbed. So I'm wondering if I can kind of put them down here. I'm not sure if I want to line it up or have it off-centered and then kind of tear the edge there that's not bad okay let's move on shall we to this side of the page so I like my double wides on the weekends so let's plan where we want it based on where everything is I'm thinking I want something maybe, ooh, I don't know. Uh, 
I'm just going to, I feel like putting it here for some reason. I'm just going to add this notes right here. And I just noticed that I put this quote, life is happening in this moment. Same as that. So I don't think I'm going to use that one now, but I do want to do another cluster similar to this. So let's do that. I want a bigger box. I'm feeling like putting that there. Now let's grab some circles. What I'm going to do. Let me just cut off the edge. I'm going to cut off the edge of this one and see if I can make this into a box of some sort. I don't know. I just want it in there and kind of covered up to where you can't see the part that I cut off. There we go, like that. That's really cute. Okay. I like that. I want to add this one in here, but I feel like it needs to be at like the top. I don't know that I want to do it here and I can't do it here because it's already at the top of the page so unless we do like one more small cluster I don't know that that's gonna work All right, got too much that I want to do going on I want to add this one actually inside the box And I want to put this one right there maybe, and then trim off the edge there. Let's see if I can trim just a tap. Well, I don't want to do it and then mess up. No. Thinking if I want it, I want it here. So I'm going to lift these up and then let's see how low I need to go. I'm thinking right here. might be good okay now let me lift this up and wipe that out oops okay that's cute it needs some um florals with it so let's do that florals. I think that will help bring this together. I feel like this is pretty empty down here, but I do have that quote that I wanted to add in, so we will focus on that in just a second. If I can get these things up. Just struggling today. Okay. Okay. 
So what I want to do here is cut around this part that's going to go over over this design part. So I'm putting the washi down so I don't risk tearing the sticker. And then I'm going to trim around this as best as I can. Let me see how that looks. Okay. I think that might be okay. Let me pull off the washi and see how I feel. Oh no. I need my washi back. Oh, that's because it's at the bottom here. One second, little technical difficulty. Okay, there we go. Okay, not my favorite, but I think it gets the job done. Now I want one over here on this corner. I feel like this one would work okay. So let me pull that up. I feel like I've been at this spread for a while. Hopefully y'all are still hanging in there with me. I'm going to layer that one over just because I'm getting slightly lazy with um, caring whether you can see the lines behind it. But I think that's cute. I'm going to put this other piece over here. I have scraps everywhere right now. Okay, and then let's trim, oops, trim that off. Okay, super cute. Love, love, love this spread. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Now, I really, really, really wanted to use this one. I think I should just do it. Let me see how it's layered out or not like balanced out. I don't want to not use it because it's so pretty, but I don't know that I can use it without kind of throwing off the vibe of everything else. Unless I added like some circles with it. It's the only thing I could do that I think could save it. No. All right, I'm doing it. I have to white out some things though. All right, so we're gonna go all the way up here. I don't know how far over, pretty far. That kinda went perfect with the line there. Okay, that worked out good. Now, I want to go grab another circle of some sort. Let's see. Where's my book? Right here. Let's go find the circles. I'm going to use one with some different color and texture than what's on the quote. And where's the ones with quotes? We have some of these. It will all be okay. I think I might want a gray. Okay. Not bad. Let me put these up before I forget about them. Okay. Really liking this so far. I just noticed that you can see behind that, but that's okay. 
a um, little bit more florals maybe and then we can call this spread good I've been doing so much color lately that this is I'm not accustomed to it but I'm really really liking it well, I lost where I was I don't think that was the page that I was on it was this one okay florals maybe along the bottom possibly I don't want to put it too close to here maybe right here I actually have this one that's kind of circular so let me grab that and then see how that goes and then I think we'll be done I'll put bullet points in at the when I start filling it in. Okay, so I definitely want to trim it. Let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to start just cutting along here. Fingers crossed. Oh no, not off to a good start. Be nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And pull this one up. Okay. And then I like the look of it kind of layering over that. So I left this little leaf on. The only thing I think it's missing is a little bit more um, of this washi tape to balance. So I don't know where to put it. Because I put some right there. I don't know where to put it. Maybe we can put it I don't know. I'm just playing around with the idea of making this go like in and out of the quote. So let me see how that kind of works for me. Okay, that's not bad. I like that. Okay, now I feel like it's a little more balanced. Definitely less stickered up than I normally do, but I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!